Hooters Formula Cup cars and the Hooters Cup plate models. My name is Fred Pop, and I'll be calling all the action in the pits for you. Up top side, Mark Bouchardi and Roby Helm. Thank you very much, Fred Pump. Roby Helm along with Mark Bouchardi. And tonight's action from Hooters Racing and Hooters Sports Production is brought to you by Hooters, home of nearly world-famous chicken wings. By Jackaroo Barbie Sauce, it's not just for barbecue anymore. By Naturally Fresh Salad Dressing, nature's finest ingredients blended naturally, pour it on. By Red Dog Beer, bold yet smooth, unusually easy to drink, you are your own dog. And by Goodyear, number one in racing, number one in in tires. Mark Bichardi, a very unique racetrack here at Flemington Speedway. A lot of history at this track. Built back in the 1800s, they started racing cars here in 1915. It is a square racetrack. It has four unique turns and four straightaways. Well, they got two straightaways between one and two and three and four they call the short shoots. They're a little shorter than the two on the front and the back straightaway. This used to be a horse racing track. They'd race horses during the day and then they'd put dirt cars on it at night. Usually during the, the time of the fair every year they'd run races at night for the automobiles. But as, this track is square in the way it looks but they run it as a true oval. These cars tonight, the Formula 2 cars, told me that they, if they're running right, they will never lift around this racetrack. They will run flat out on the edge the whole race. This 60 lap race will be run flat out and the Hooters Cup cars on the speedway, and the point battle is taking shape in this division with Alan May and Anthony Lazaro up there battling for the top position in points, and they're going to be starting quite a ways back through the field, Mark Bichardi, as the cars are lining up on the speedway now. Well, Anthony Lazario had a great qualifying run. He's had the fastest qualifying, but he drew the pill number 10, so he'll be starting in the 10th position. Alan May, who's just a little bit ahead of him in points and won a few races this year, had a bad qualifying position start. He qualified sixth and will start eighth. So these are the two cars we probably need to watch most of the night. That's Anthony Lazaro in car number one and the number 99 car of Alan May. Mark, if you've got the starting lineup handy there, we'll go ahead and uh, run down the starting lineup for tonight's 60-lap Hooters Formula Cup race. And starting on the pole position in car number 27, it'll be Kyle Conzer out of Waterford, Michigan in the K&K maintenance car. Outside of row one, Hal Corbin out of Marietta, Georgia in the 61 car. Row two on the inside, it'll be Adam Wright in the 09 car out of Columbus, Ohio. Sam Schmidt, car number five, he'll be on the outside of row two. Third row on the inside, John Calcutt out of Rockford, Illinois in the Rock River Ford. Outside of him in car number eight, a good qualifying effort for John Jernigan, Jr., a rookie out of Oak Ridge, Tennessee, in the Valve Valvoline Van Diemen. Fourth row on the inside in car number 10, David Elliott out of Leeburn, Georgia in the Progressive Motorsports Van Diemen. Outside of him in car number 99 from Dallas, Texas, Alan May in the Colmet D'Agostino Racing Van Diemen. Fifth row on the inside, car number 20, Nemo Gidley out of San Rafael, California. The DSTP Motorsports Van Diemen. Outside of him in car number one, Anthony Lazaro, the defending champion on the Hooters Cup circuit. Out of Ackworth, Georgia, the Jackaroo Barbie Sauce B&G Products Van Diemen. Mark Bichardi, and going down through this field, we have pretty much a whole field of Van Diemen race cars, but we do have a couple other cars represented here with the Swifts and the Reynards. Well, as far as I know, there's only one Swift and one Reynard, and these cars are different than the others and kind of like the difference between a Chevrolet and a Ford. You see more Chevrolets because the parts are easier to get. That's why the Swifts and the Reynards, they don't run them so much because the parts are harder to get and they're a little more expensive. And the fans in the stands here at Flemington Speedway on their feet, waving to the drivers as they get set for the start. Let's continue to run down the lineup. Starting 11th in car number 76, it'll be Ali Bessinger out of Carpentersville, Illinois. And in 12th starting spot, the 28th car, Rick Rushton out of Santa Fe, New Mexico. Seventh row on the inside, Brett O'Neill in car number 33 out of Pembroke Park, Florida. Outside of him in car number 9, it'll be John Penna out of Hackenstein, New Jersey. In the 15th starting spot on the inside of row 8 in car number 72, it'll be Tim Richardson, a rookie out of Owings Mills, Maryland, outside of him in car number 77, Keith Altiro out of Hollywood, Florida. 
and continuing to run down through the field starting 17th in car number three it'll be John Arenda Nelson Calais out of Bogota Columbia car number 22 starts 18th 19th it'll be Robert Wright in car number 94 the 20th starting spot goes to Chris Winkler in car number 29 21st starter will be Mark Cruz in car number 95 Ricky Rutt car number 57 starts 22nd 23rd will be Jarrett Schroeder that'll be a car that will be watching one of the top drivers in the series out of Vineland New Jersey he crashed during practice couldn't qualify he'll start 23rd in car number 96 and the 24 starter in car number 92 out of Haines City Florida it'll be Marilyn McCrary in the Nikon Sports Optics Van Diemen so that's the field is set all attention now on the front row Kyle Conzer out of Waterford Michigan on the pole position the red number 27 outside of him it'll be Hal Corbin in car number 61 and the field has been given the one to go signal and we'll be looking for green flag this time by Mark Bichardi here they come out of turn four Tony Boswell waves the green flag in our 60 lap Hooters running the cup race is underway three wide for second spot out of turn number two again this is a square oval four turns and four straightaways a good battle for that second spot and Mark Bichardi it's Anthony Lazaro in the number one car he's already worked his way up into that fourth position uh, he got a good start on this field these cars are so unique in that they look like little indie cars they're fast but they've got to be careful because these cars can explode into this guardrail in a hurry. They were told in the driver's meeting tonight to drive within yourself because you can get hurt in a hurry here. Battle up front for the lead, side by side. We've got the number 27 car, a Kyle Conzer. Looks like Sam Schmidt in the five car on the inside as they come out of turn number four. It'll be Sam Schmidt moving underneath Kyle Conzer to take the lead. Well, Sam Schmidt was your second fastest qualifier, so he drew a good pill and starting where he's at and he got to the front in a hurry. Sam Schmidt started fourth on the field is now working in the lead as lap number four is being worked at this time. Kyle Conser, car number 27 in the second spot running third in the 0-9 car it'll be Adam Wright and the battle we've been watching is watching Anthony Lazaro there you see him in that blue yellow and red Jackaroo barbecue sauce car the defending Hooters Formula Cup champion he is up and running in the fourth position now challenging for third on Adam Wright in the 0-9 car I was just watching the 99 car of Alan May who's won three races so far this year he was real loose several times I don't know whether he's getting on the throttle too hard coming off the turns trying to make up too much racetrack at one time but that car seems awful loose well as you said at the top of the show these guys are pretty much running flat out around the speedway they really don't have to lift off the throttle these cars are powered by 2000 cc pretty much stock production four-cylinder Ford engines Mark Ricciardi yes and they run identical motors everybody we've everybody got trouble on the front straightaway it's the 45 car spinning and we have got styrofoam bouncing down the front straightaway as we had a car make heavy contact into the wall another car involved the 95 car pulling away on the inside but it looked like the brunt of that impact taken by car number 45 and that's John Calcutt who started in the fifth spot the 95 car also got into the styrofoam Mark Cruz at the back of the pack and he was able to pull away and Mark Bichardi that styrofoam as you just said before just exploded on the front straightaway and for those of you that are not familiar with the foam blocks that are used here at Flemington Speedway they do have foam blocks up against the steel guardrails and here we have a well we were going to have an instant replay I'm sure they'll have that coming up here in just a second but they have styrofoam blocks around the steel guardrails here at Flemington Speedway it serves two purposes to protect the driver from a serious injury and protect that car from being damaged and on the 45 car all four wheels are still on the John Calcutt automobile so those styrofoam blocks did their job Mark I didn't see the accident when it happened but we looked up and it looked like it was snowing into the grandstands with much foam that was coming up here but looking at the car his wheels are packed with styrofoam so he had to have hit it pretty flat all four wheels are still there so uh, hopefully everything will be all right he may not race again tonight okay we're going to take a look at the replay of the incident on the front straightaway as they clean the racetrack up there you can see that foam still out there the cars hitting it bouncing it up in the air and it does look like a blizzard on the front straightaway as those styrofoam blocks coming apart.